माय फ्रेंड्स वी हैव सो फॉर गॉट एक्सलेंट इंफॉर्मेशन राहुल साहब ने हमको बता दिया व्हाट आर द सीड सिस्टम सीड रिप्लेसमेंट रेट्स फूड सिक्योरिटी एंड इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ सीड इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ यू नो एग्रीकल्चर and how we are in india how the world is and again you know seed personnel how the universities are working and what is the de- development variety development you know variety of things uh, dr saab has covered and uh, uh, sharad saab ne humko diya you know in the present situation in this corona situation covid 19 situation how the seed people have to work on the ground on the ground how to reach out to the farmers point by point with regard to trade what to do with regard to farmer what to do and with regard to you know the finances the traveling you know supplies everything at the ground level a salesman ko kya karna chahiye has been clearly given by sharad sir thank you very much sir namaskar really you gave us wonderful um, uh, you know presentations and so much of knowledge let me share the content Yeah. Uh, thank you, Sam. Are you able to see me and also the screen both? Are you able to see me and the screen both? Yes, yes, yes but uh, yes, sir. Great. You are seeing me and the screen both. Yes, sir. Screen is visible. Yes, screen is visible, but I am not visible. Yeah. Yeah, you are also yeah, visible, sir. Mobile. on the mobiles is the brother is laptops visible okay let's move on to the second topic the seed is the ultimate miracle beej ek chamatkar hai do you agree that beej is also a chamatkar do you agree if you agree type in the chat box yes if you also agree in the chat there is a chat box there so please type in that yes Letter yes, letter yes, capital S or small s. Please type in that. You know, let us make it an interactive thing. A chamatkar hai, ultimate miracle. Okay, okay. So many people, so many people are agreeing with me, agreeing with me. You know uh, that seed is a miracle. If you think seed is a miracle, why you you think seed is a miracle? What is the reason? What is the what is the chamatkar in the seed? What are the what is the miracle thing in the seed? सीड एक मेरिकल क्यों है इसमें क्या है इसलिए कि वो एक मेरिकल जैसा हम समझते हैं वाई इज इट ए मेरिकल प्लीज राइट इन द चार्ट बॉक्स यूर आंसर इट हैज लाइफ वेरी गुड शिवानी सिंह सिंह राणा साहब बोल रहे इट हैज लाइफ ओके वेरी गुड एंड वट आर दर आंसर प्लीज टाइप इन द चार्ट बॉक्स यूर आंसर वाई यू थिंक सीड इज ए मेरिकल I want to see your answers. Let us make it interactive. The more you are involved, the more you participate in the webinar. You know, security for the nation. Divakar ji, बोल रहे हैं security in the nation. And Rajesh ji बोल रहे हैं ये दाना हर दाना बनाता है. Oh, fantastic! Thank you, my God. Absolutely, मेरे दिमाग को आपने पढ़ लिया. Thank you. Very good. Or why? There are many reasons. Look at that. Look at the screen. The slide on the screen. they are all seeds all are seeds different sizes different colors different shapes different textures miracle there are seeds but i want to give you three two three four reasons why i am thinking seed is a miracle the first thing i am thinking seed is a miracle is seed is a gift of god bhagwan ne manav jati ko इन्होंने एक मुफ्त की तरफ जीने के लिए गॉड हैज गिफ्टेड द सीड टू द ह्यूमंस टू लिव टू सरवाइव एंड टू परपचुएट आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू वन स्टोरी इफ यू आस्क पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कंट्रीज व्हाट इज द ओरिजिन ऑफ राइस ये राइस कहां का राइस का शुरुआत कहां से है इफ यू आस्क देम डिफरेंट कंट्रीज विल टेल यू डिफरेंट स्टोरीज you know in india there is a story taiwan there is a story japan there is a story china there is a story Philippines, Malaysia, Korea, different countries have different stories. But one story that I really love sharing with you today is the story from Philippines. Philippines, they grow rice, they eat rice, not one time, two time, three time, four time. 
उनकी ब्रेकफास्ट में भी चावल के साथ कुछ खाते दे ईट राइस इन द ब्रेकफास्ट दिस राइस सीटिंग कंट्री राइस ग्रोइंग कंट्री यू कैन सी राइस क्विट एवरीवेयर इन दट कंट्री दे बिलीव दट राइस इज ए गिफ्ट For that there is a story there. Long, long, long ago, once upon a time, once upon a time, there was a village. In that village, there is a poor farmer, and farmer has a daughter. And one day, the girl went to the nearby canal, and she she was sitting on the bank of the canal with her legs inside the water, but very sad, but very depressed. because she lost her mother at a very early age and her father borrowed money from the local landlord and could not return so in terms of that his fa- her father was working as a slave in that landlord's house they were living like slaves so she was worried when my father when my father will ever return this debt repay this debt clear this debt and when we will be cleared off this slavery and she was thinking like that and sitting there at that time a golden colored panicle a golden panicle was flowing down from the canal it, it was flowing down from the canal one panicle golden colored panicle came and touched her feet then she looked down upon into that water she picked up the panicle there were some grains in the panicle she brought them home and near next to her house there was some kind of mud so she she sowed the seeds in that mud the seeds gave plants and then the plants the panicles and from the panicles the seeds were collected and again they sowed the seeds like this after few years they collected so much of grain that they could not fill their they could not you know the house is not sufficient even fill all this grain with they got so much of grain they sold it they cleared the debt and they got the freedom and they became free thanks to god who sent that one panicle on that golden panicle rice panicle the with that panicle the girl became girl and her father they came out of the slavery this is the beautiful story from that time onwards everybody thinks that this is how the god has gifted the nation the rice seed how beautiful it is you all agree that rice See the gift of God. Yes, we start there. Yes, thank you very much. Dusri cheez, dosto, the viability of the seed. Do you know how long a seed can remain viable? How long the seed can retain the life in it? One year, two years, five years, ten years? How many years do you think a seed can retain the life? Please keep typing the answers on the chat box. How many years do you think a seed can retain the retain the life? You are seeing a, on the screen a seed. This is the seed of a date palm. You know, in Israel, in Israel during the excavations, during the excavations, they found this seed, and with the carbon dating, when they when they found the age of the seed, it was two. Thousand years. कितने साल? कितने साल? दो हजार. Two thousand years was the life of this, was the age of the seed, was the age of the seed. So what happened? When this, when this they wanted to see, they wanted to see whether the seed can give life, whether the seed can germinate. And they sowed the seeds, and the seed germinated, and that gave that that date palm, date palm plant. There you can see. It's growing. It's yet to give the um, fruits yet, but it's growing very well. <coughs> it's growing very well. It is there. It's Jewish tuta. We call it the viability. Thousands of years. Not only that, my dear friends. Here, what you are seeing is also a seed. It is more than two inches. Two inches is it? And this seed is coming from a plant called sea bean. You know the sea bean. I want to show you a small video, a two five minute ka video. Please take a look at this video. You know, sea bean, the sea beans, and how they survive and where they are produced and where they germinate. You must see this. Please take a look at this video. The seed falls somewhere in the West Indies, 
and it goes to the Europe. It travels thousands of miles on the sea for a year. So from one continent, it goes to another continent and it germinates there. It gives rise to a plant and again it, 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 it moves there. That's how. Is, it, is the seed not a miracle? It is a miracle. It is a miracle. And another thing is seed persistence. Seed persistence ko jante hain. Kabi kabi, you know, you can see it's coming from the cracks of the walls. Cracks of the, you see, look at, look at this. This is coming from the drainage, drainage, you know, uh, plant. From sometimes, you know, sometimes the plants come through the walls. Even this little opportunity, slightest opportunity, the seed germinates and it makes its best efforts. It comes out. It wants to survive. It wants to see the light of the day. It wants to grow and it wants to give the fruit. It wants to give the fruit. It is a miracle. Even if you look at seed dispersal system, it is a miracle. You have seen the seed dispersal system, right? It's magical and it's a miracle. Another factor that I want to see, the miracle nature of the seed is, it's a miracle multiplier. Like our uh, Rajesh Sahib ne bataya ki ye dhane se hazaron dhane aate hain. It's a miracle. Look at this. In the sorghum, jowar mein, from one grain of sorghum, you get one plant. In one plant, you will have one panicle. In one panicle, you will have 750 to 1250 grains. In one hectare of sorghum, you have 2 lakh plants. That means 2 lakh plants on an average, each plant giving you 1000 grains. So in one hectare, but like two and a half acres, you will have 20 crore grains. Similarly, if you look at, there are other plants and I want to share with you one another thing that is, um, that is chili. In case of chili, one seed gives you one plant, right? And one plant could be 800 fruits. If you take one fruit, 76. One chili, one chili plant will have 56,000 seeds. In one hectare, you will have 23,500 plants. And put together, if you look at the quantity of the seeds, it will be 1.3 billion. Matala, in one hectare of chili crop, chili crop, if you take the seeds out of that, the number is equal to the population, more than the population of our country. In one hectare, so much of multiplication happens there. Look at the case of maize. From one maize plant, you get one cob, one, one cob, one kernel, one seed gives you one plant. From one plant, take only one cob. In one cob, 600 kernel seeds. And in one hectare, you have 55,000 plants. And 55,000 plants multiplied by 600 grains, you will have 33 millions. 33 million grains in one hectare. If you have 200 hectares, the 200 hectares will give you more than 6 billion grains. That means as much as this world population, the human population, the entire planet, you will have those many seeds in just 200 hectares of a maize crop. Look at the multiplication capacity. Seed, it comes into this world as one, but it does not want to remain as one. It wants to grow its value, it wants to multiply its value, and it wants to give to the planet. It wants to give, it's a giver, it's a multiplier. And that's how I call it a miracle. Look at this. Again, another thing, you know, the miracle is embedded inside the seed. Seed is not chota hota hai. It's not chota seed mein. Aane wale dinon ka in the coming days, what is going to be the size of the plant, shape of the leaf, color of the leaf, color of the flower, smell of the flower, size of the fruit, taste of the fruit, how much it will grow. And all this is written inside the seed and retained in the seed in the form of what we call genetic code. And the genetic code, if you decode it, and if you write in the form of ATGC, ATGC, 89 thymine, cytosine and guanine, the amino acids, and write it, the information contained in that small seed, if you decipher and if you decode and write it in English letters, you would require a book of 450 pages. You require a volume of 450 pages. That much is embedded in this miracle called seed. Isn't it a miracle? It's a miracle. Bees a chamatkar hai. 
it's an ultimate miracle wonderful now let us see the farmer farmer is a life nurturer bolte hain kisan ek samposhak hai you agree with me he is a life nurturer if there is life on this planet earth if people are living on this planet earth if the people are surviving and they are having something to eat it is because of the farmer it is because the farmer is growing food we are able to eat and we are able to survive we are able to live our life that's why i want to call the farmer as a life nurturer ek samposhak hai you agree with me salute the farmer salute the farmer he takes all the trouble and he grows the crop and he supplies that it comes from us whether it is rice whether it is wheat whether it is dal whether it is vegetables whatever we are eating it is a farmer who is growing he is samposhak hai if just imagine my friend just imagine if there are no farmers if they are not farming how would be our plates our plates would be empty we will have nothing to eat every time we eat we must remember there must be some farmer somewhere who grew the crop because of which i am eating so thank you thank you farmer it's you i don't know who you are where you are today i am having a happy meal healthy meal thank you i salute you farmer you work so hard in the hot sun and the rain you work day and night and you work for me because of you i am able to eat thank you farmer so if the farmers imagine if the farmers take a holiday a crop holiday for a one season two seasons this year so imagine what would the people in the cities and towns eat and farmers look at them this is a rice farmer in my native place a rice farmer works so hard works so hard in order to till the land if we has to use some farmers still they don't use machines they use bullocks and in knee deep in knee deep mud a farmer has to walk up and down 3 kilometers to puddle one acre of rice and after all that hard work he plants his rice and the rice grows and as the rice is ready for harvesting and the farmer wants to harvest then there will be a downpour and all the crop is lodged and it is under the water one year it happened so when i went there and seeing the field i felt so bad and i told my uncle mama what is this something that has come so close to us is lost now you know what my mama said don't worry next year will be very good next season will be bahut acha hoga aane wala season bahut acha hoga ra don't worry that's what he told me oh my god i was worried but the farmer had that hope aasha bolte hain had that hope with that hope the farmer survives farmer still goes back to his farm because he has a hope he has a hope that way he goes back to the farm he sows the seed again despite the troubles despite the difficulties despite the low losses that he incurs he does not stop farming he still goes back to the farm that's why we have something to eat i want to salute the farmers for the hope they have despite the difficulties this is a farmer in bengal this is a farmer in bengal you know I work for ITC, Monsanto, Cyanamide, BASF. I used to conduct lots of trials and demonstrations in farmers' fields. I used to go and meet the farmers. And this farmer once, when I went there in Bengal, in this in a small village, the paddy farmer, I went there. Not only this farmer, many other farmers. That's how they treated me. I'm just giving one example of one farmer, but so many farmers sub. It is generally this is the nature of the farmer. They go hungry, but they feed you. मेरे को बोले हैं डॉक्टर साहब बैठिए, डॉक्टर साहब बैठिए, बैठा था. जो खाना उनके लिए रखा, अंदर से उसमें से जो जो भी अच्छा खाना है, he brought that. सिर खाइए बोल के he has given me that food. I salute the farmers. They go hungry. they don't need that much but they supply the best produce to the market they supply most of the milk that they produce to the milk center 
they give it because they also require some money to send their child to the school or to buy some clothes because they also have need money that's why they send this produce they give it they, they sacrifice most of their these things and give it to the market and they feed the world even if they go hungry i sell you the farmers will you also sell it to the farmers if you want to sell it to the farmers say yes yes sir thank you thank you very much look at this farm you have difficulties i have difficulties we all have difficulties like we have difficulties farmers also have difficulties don't they have difficulties so many difficulties they are not as well to do as we are but still whenever you go there whenever you go to the villages go to the village see those poor farmers hum jab bolenge namaskar ram ram then you see a beautiful smile जितने भी दिक्कतें कठिनाई है वो फेस कर रहे हैं हवेवर वट एवर में डिफिकल्टीज इज हैविंग इन हिज माइंड दिल ऊपर से हमको एक सुंदर मुस्कुराहट से ग्रीटिंग करते हैं नमस्कार डॉक्टर साहब थैंक यू डॉक्टर साहब डॉक्टर साहब बोल के हमको हंसते बात करते हैं सही में ऐसा किसान को आप में आप भी देखे हैं मार्केट में फील्ड में गाँव में देखे थे इफ यू सीन सच फार्मर्स टू ग्रीट विद स्माइल प्लीज राइट येस इन द चार्ट बॉक्स आई सेल यू द फार्म look at them i sell you the farmers despite all the difficulties despite the troubles despite the losses they still go back to the farm they sow they toil they work hard to produce the crop and to market the crop to supply the food to the to all of us to eat that's why kisan the farmer is the life nurturer you agree with me he is the life nurturer jab kisan hai life hai jab kisan nahi hai is dharti par it's nobody can survive and live and move forward now you have the seeds on one side the miracle the chamatkar and on the other side you have the farmers the life nurturers but there is a gap in between aisa beej kisanon tak le jane ke liye beech mein jo jo gap hai jo bridge karna hai and that who will do this who will bridge the gap between the seeds and the farmers who will be able to make these seeds reach the farmers please answer my question who will make the seeds the miracle seeds reach the farmers who is that who is that who will be bridging the gap where between the farmer and the seeds it is the seedsman seedsman the seed producers the processors and the ultimate sales people ultimately the seed companies the government seed organizations the seed corporations and all those people who are involved in seed production and packing and supplying these are the people because of whom the seeds are reaching the farmers and farmers are able to grow the food and that's why i call these seedsmen as a true warriors seedsmen ye yodha hai now people are telling no people are telling you know the doctors of the warriors the nurses of the warriors the policemen of the warriors the all those people who are working for the corona thing are warriors like hamara dr sharad saab ne bataya farmers are also warriors farmers are warriors they are now going to the farm they are tilling their soil they are sowing the seeds they are doing it they are the warriors and now at this point in time my dear friends in the month of it all started in the month of march in the month of march when the seed started coming from the seed production farms to the seed processing units the people the seed production staff who worked in the seed production areas loaded the trucks loaded the trucks and sent the trucks to the seed processing plants i want to salute them for the risk they have taken and they are also warriors the seed production staff who made who ensured that seed reaches the processing plants in the production areas i salute them as a warriors in the seed processing plants initially there was difficulties when the lockdown was in, initiated the nobody was allowed to go then seed companies they worked with the commissioner of police and other people they got those passes and then the, with those passes they started moving to the processing plants they took all the safety measures social distancing everything the speed of processing has come down but still they managed to process they got the seed ready if the seed is not ready there's no way the seed can be supplied to the farmers the seed was made ready now season has already started season had already started season has already started in the in the uh, punjab haryana 
April, April second fortnight itself, the season has started. The cotton farmers were sowing seeds. Now maybe Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, jaldi se jaldi se wahan pe bhi season shuru ho jayega. Ye bhi Telangana in the month of May, June, June, July, it, it all starts. And they want seed. They want seed. And this, the seed from down south in Hyderabad, it went all the way to Bhatinda, it went to Sirsa, it went to Hisar. It is Indian Railways, a train load of goods, <coughs> packet, lakhs and lakhs of packets of cotton seed been transported and made available. And the seed is reaching. So it is a it is RD staff who are also going and taking data at a Research product development staff who are doing the trials and collecting data, seed production staff, processing plant staff, and also sales staff. All these people working for the seed companies and also seed corporations and seed. I want to call all of them as values, as true values. I want to salute them. They are taking definitely some risk. They are also working. If these people are not working, the quality seed will not reach the farmers. If the farmers don't get the seed, they will not be able to sow the seed on time. If they don't sow the seed on time, the production will be affected badly. If the production is affected, next year, the prices of the commodities will be very high. India is presently an exporter. India may have to import if the seed is not sown on time. But now, the seedsmen are doing their best to ensure that the seed reaches the farmer on time. This is the work of a barrier. I want to sell you these barriers. I want to sell you these barriers. They are working in a mission mode. For them it is like a mission. For them it is like a gya. A mahan gya hai. They are for the moment they go whether it is rain or shine, whether it is rain or shine, body ho, dhup ho, they go and fish. They go. If the bike reaches the place, fine. If they don't, the bike also does not go some places. They park the bike, they walk on the bunch of the fields, they walk on the bunch of the fields, and they go meet the farmers. They help the farmers sow the right seed at the right time, follow the good practices so that the farmer gets the best yield out of the crop, out of the seeds that he is using. That's why I just tell them they are the barriers. And seeds people. Seeds people, they are also jimmedar log hai, they are responsible people, they have so many responsibilities to perform. Seeds man, seeds man to jimmedariya hai. Do you think seeds people have responsibilities? If you think yes, please type yes in the seed box. And what are the responsibilities? One responsibility if you take, it is the responsibility. Yes. G, uh, कोई किसी का माइक्रोफोन ऑन है प्लीज चेक दैट एंड प्लीज म्यूट योर फोन यस प्लीज द सीड्स मैन हैज रिस्पांसिबिलिटी टू फार्मर्स टू फार्मर्स टू सप्लाई क्वालिटी सीड नॉट ओनली टू सप्लाई क्वालिटी सीड देयर आफ्टर ही हैज टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर साहब टू अ फार्मर ही हैज टू गाइड द फार्मर ही हैज टू टेल हिम गुड गुड पैकेज ऑफ प्रैक्टिसेस सो दैट द फार्मर गेट्स द बेस्ट यील्ड फ्रॉम द सीड्स दैट ही परचेज फ्रॉम द सीड कंपनी एंड सेकंड थिंग So the dealer channels partners, dealers, distributors, they invest lakhs and crores of rupees. They invest, they are the link between the company and the, and the farmer. So these people, you have the seedsman has a responsibility to see that the seed is supplied on time, to see that the money is collected from them, to see that everything, you know, supply, supply side, demonstrations, demand generation, and all that they do there. And coming to the there's the responsibility to the team, and then there's a the responsibility towards the company. Towards the company's importance because the seedsman is like an ambassador. Ek raj duta hai for the company ke liye. He is the, he is like an ambassador. If the seedsman is good, the company is good. So he represents the company. He represents the company. He works towards the profitability of the company. He works. He wants. He sees that the image of the company, the goodwill of the company, the credibility of the company goes up. And ultimately, he is also having responsibility towards his own family and his. Himself, himself. This is so many responsibilities he has to handle, and that's why he's a responsible person. The seedsman is a responsible person, and that's why I want to call him a barrier. <clears throat> Saath -saath, in the seed companies, if you look at seedsman, they have to achieve. They have to work towards achieving the sales targets, and also collecting payments. Nowadays, the cash is the biggest crunch, and collecting payments is an ordinary task, and the seeds people have to do. And whatever the job they're doing, the minimum stock returns. 
maybe just like our sales up said 3% 5% minimum because the stock returns the sale returns are so big the entire profits will be washed away so you have to plan and your work and do your work in such a way that the sales returns are minimal and at the same time you have to build the brand image in building the brand image on a daily basis at the same time there will be customer objections customer complaints sir the seed did not germinate sir the seed did not perform the seed has a virus seed has that problem this problem and you have to pay money and all the compensation demands the seeds one has to handle all of that and he has to report to his boss in the morning and the evening reporting has to be done regular way and at the same time by doing all these things the seeds one always works towards improving and increasing the company's goodwill goodwill Yes, India has achieved its first green revolution in 1960s. Even those days, whatever the rice production, whatever the wheat production, if you take 1960s and if you take today's seed production, it has been doubled, tripled several times. It has increased. And how did this happen? We are waiting for one more bigger green revolution. But whatever the growth we achieved on the production levels of 1960s and 2020, if you look at. this much of growth that has happened it happened because of all the people who worked for this because of people like rao saab because people like people like all those companies the companies who invested money the managing directors they invested money they took risk they started the seed businesses and they invested money and they took so much of trouble in supplying the quality seed to the farmers the seeds man seeds man contributed to the growth of the seed production in the country and to make india a self sufficient country not a country that is required to import a country that can export farming and farmers farmers are farming though there is so much of improvement in the production there are still lacks of farmers who are still not able to get the best yields they have needs and they still need good seeds and we have to reach them it is the seeds man who can reach them it is the seedsman only who can reach them and who can help them and seedsman can serve them and that's why i want to call seedsman the true warriors i want to salute the seedsman as a true warriors aap bhi salute karna chahte hain to aap bhi chat box mein please write down yes letter yes or y e s or letter s yes, please write yes the seedsman or the true warriors seedsman ye yodha hai all those people they they are all walking ultimately if you are helping the farmer get the right seeds at the right time you are a real barrier especially in the present circumstances you are a barrier you are a barrier well the situation is not like what we had in the past abhi ka situation alag hai it is not same as what we had till last year it is a different situation in this different situation we have to work we have to work the time has now come for us to work i want to give you a few positive thoughts difficulties in our life don't come to destroy us they but to help us realize our hidden potential in hidden potential it's a big disruption the corona virus is a huge disruption on the planet earth the corona is a big enemy that the whole world is fighting with more than 200 countries it has attacked and this enemy is an invisible enemy and the vast fast enemy is a ruthless enemy we are all fighting the battle and we were all under lock india has done extremely good so far till today you and i and we all have done so good that you know we have minimal minimal deaths and the whole world is looking at india how india with a population of 130 crores is able to manage so few deaths with the covid 19 with countries so less population are suffering from such big losses and you to all of you who have gone through excellent discipline who exercise lot of patience lot of patience we going through some uncertainty ambiguity difficulty but why this difficulty why this whole planet is going through difficulty and definitely this difficulty we shall overcome but can we why is this difficulty and can we come out of this difficulty becoming stronger becoming fitter and becoming better look at this this is a stage of insect insect has four stages egg larva pupa and adult adult is the beautiful butterfly the colorful butterfly that flies in order to become the colorful butterfly it has to go through these three stages and one stage is the pupa stage look at that pupa covered by a hard shell inside that hard shell is the beautiful butterfly which is going to fly high in the coming years but 
One day, it so happened, the butterfly was trying to come out. It's trying to wriggle out. It, the little bit of that butterfly came out, but struggling so hard, but unable to come out. A gentleman had seen that and he took pity on this butterfly. Poor butterfly it is unable to come. Let me help it. And he took the small scissors and he removed that shell. He wanted to help that butterfly to come out of the shell. To come out of the shell without any struggle. Peacefully, smoothly. It won. He, he wanted the butterfly to come out. He had cut that. Once it came out of the shell, what did the butterfly do? Did it fly or did it fall down? If it had fallen down, did it fly or did it remain there? Please answer my question. Without going that Going through that struggle, the butterfly inside, when it came out, what happened to the butterfly? Did it fall down or did it fly? Please answer me. I am looking for your chart box messages. Did it fly? Yes or no? Did it fly? No. Rajesh Shekhar Ji says no. Yes, fly. Somebody, Rajesh Ji says fly. You know, the farmer wanted the butterfly to fly. But what happened? Muhammad Shafi Sahib says, it, no, it did not fly. It could not fly. Pranay Vyasi says, no, it did not fly. Yes, you are right. It could not fly. It fell down. It fell down. It came out of the cocoon without the struggle, without a difficulty. Smoothly it came out. So what happened here? Why that struggle? Why God has given that struggle to this butterfly is, when it goes through that struggle, it moves its wings. When it moves its wings to break the shell, the wing muscles become free. When it moves its leg, legs, the leg muscles become free. And when it moves through the body, lot of fluid that is there in the body, the fluid is gone. The body becomes light. And with that, the muscles of wings, the muscles of legs, they become free. The struggle, that struggle, when it, when it tries to come out, during the struggle, when it's trying to break the shell, the struggle that it goes through, it gives, it is something that that struggle has given, that God has given the butterfly the gift and the power of flying. In order to give the power of flying, that is the struggle. It is not the struggle, it is something, it is an opportunity to get the power of flying. So, so as you go through, as you go through, there is a power of flying. So the difficulties, we are going through a difficulty you now. Can we come out through, through this difficulty? Let another type of corona come now. We know how to handle it. We will know how to handle it. We know we can do it. We have seen that. Because we are going through. It is training us. It is equipping us. It is empowering us. It should not disempower. We must take the present difficulty also as an opportunity to make us stronger, better, so that we can fly with flying colors in the days to come. Now, you are seeing on the screen two things. One is a charcoal. What is the other one? One is the piece of charcoal. What is the other one? Diamond. Absolutely right. It's a diamond. Excellent. Thank you so much. Diamond. One is the piece of charcoal. What is the difference between the charcoal and the diamond? What is the difference? Correct. Diamond. Thank you so much. What is the difference between the two? Diamond is nothing but a piece of charcoal, except that it has endured, it has withstood the highest amount of stress and highest amount of pressure it has withstood. And that whatever withstands so much of pressure, so much of stress, that will become a diamond. Yes, the present stressful conditions, when we withstand, we become diamonds. Look at this, the same, there's a boiling pot of water. In this boiling pot of water, imagine you have kept a potato inside. What will it become? The hard potato will become soft. Suppose it place an egg inside that. What will happen? The yolk, which is very soft liquid, will become hard. So that means two things when you're putting in the same medium, same burning boiling water, when you are putting two things, they are coming out differently. One is coming out as a soft, softened thing. Other one is coming as hardened thing. 
and but we we are going through a situation this situation should make us stronger harder and better braver braver with more courage yes yes we can handle it very well and if you place if you place inside this imagine few beans of coffee beans of coffee ka beej ja dalenge usme kya hota hai it will change the medium itself pura us pani ko coffee jaisa fragrant kushbu coffee ka kushbu nikalta hai wahan it gives a fragrant coffee situation is same but when we go through situation what you are becoming out of that situation is important what you are becoming out of situation is important look at this ant ants have a wonderful philosophy which i want to share with you quickly which i want to share with you quickly it is 6:11 but we have taken time to 7 o'clock but i hope we will will be i'll be closing another 5 10 minutes hope you are with me another 5 10 minutes we are closing and then if there are some questions and answers we can take are you with me can we continue yes sir thank you thank you very much look at these ants ants you know they work so hard they are so disciplined they are so busy all the time they are so busy yes they have discipline they have hard work they are very busy they will be carrying some grains of rice you know if you look at in your kitchen and everywhere they will be moving suppose you keep your finger there what happens you know if you keep your finger there it does not stop it takes slight deviation and again it is busy on his work it doesn't mind even if you distract even if you try to stop it it won't stop and sometimes you see it carries loads loads on its head the weight of which is two or three times more than its own body weight they do so much of work they collect they bring it back they collect this and go to the ant hill and there will be an ant hill unka ghar jo hota hai they carry it back and forth and they store so much of grains because they can work only in summer in times of winter especially in cold countries in winter season they cannot come out because they can't tolerate cold temperatures so what do they do they collect the enough of stocks which is sufficient even for them to survive the winter so in the winters what happens they get confined to their dark chambers of the ant hill oh ant hill ke andar hi rehna padega they are confined inside they cannot come out it will be chilling cold out there bone chilling cold out there so what goes in the mind of the ants what goes in the minds of the ants at that time when they are going through the um, hard times when they going through difficult winter time when they are confined and locked down inside the ant hill and unable to come out what would be the mindset what would be the soch of the ants please write your answers in the chat box inke dimag mein kya chalta hai us time usi musibat mein musibat mein ja raha hai they are confined locked down inside the dark chambers of the ant hill unki jo unki jo dimag mein kya hota hai likh lijiye hindi mein english mein jo bhi chahe aapke answers i want to see answers i want to see answers great trying to improvement fantastic and what else wo rote rahenge are yaar why this winter why this cold we are not like humans we don't have sweaters we don't have you know rugs and all that why this winter at all bhagwan ye winter humko kyon dete hain winter nahi hota to kitna acha hota ye winter itna itna you know why this winter why this winter no no when they are going through the difficult winters my dear friends yes yeah, some people are writing some day late will come again yes and survival yes sir yes when they are going through this winter when they are going through the difficulties of this winter the confinement inside the chambers and when the such a biting cold they don't think of winter when they are there wow the summer will come the bright sun will come and we all will go we will sing and dance and we will collect our food yes the sunny days will be coming very soon so when they are going through winter they think of summer they don't think of winter they think of summer and so look at the philosophy amazing philosophy and they happily 
because they're happy. They think of the good times they're going to get. Definitely good times will come, my dear friends, to you, to me, to all of us. We shall overcome the present situation and good times are coming. Let us put a focus on the good times. Let us not bother much. Let us not attract Corona into our lives. Let us not attract Corona, thinking about Corona, thinking about all this, thinking all the time. Let us not, let us think about the good times. Let us be positive. Let us, you know, that's how we attract good things into our life. My dear friends. Yes. So, what are the, some of the lessons we learn from the seed and from all these things? Is whatever may be the situation, whatever may be the environment, we can still grow and succeed. Be flexible, adjust with the situation and move on. You are precious, most valuable. You are a miracle. Seed is a miracle. Seed someone, you are a miracle. And struggles that come to the humans and to you, to me, are opportunities in disguise. When one door closes, other door opens. They are all opportunities in disguise. मुसीबत जैसा दिखता है, but असली में उसके अंदर चुपा हुआ है एक बहुत बड़ा मौका. So, my dear friends, now we have got excellent essence of learning from Rao Saab. We also got excellent learning from Sharad Saab. They have given such a beautiful insight. Rao Saab has covered overall India situation, seed, seed production, seed management, what is the seed security, food security, and how much, what role the universities have played. And all that Rao Saab has covered. Rao Saab is still with us. If some questions are there, he will take. And Sharad Saab has, I am sure, most of the people, especially those working with the seed companies, you agree with me. Sharad Saab has given excellent, excellent guidelines, excellent inputs to you. How to do the business on the ground level. How to see that the seed reaches the farmer. As a salesperson, what kind of care you have to take. He has clearly explained. Now we have seen some positive thinking and positive thoughts about this. And ultimately, I want to ask, tell you a few things. See through the eyes of the customer. Who is your customer? Not just the farmer. Definitely farmer is your customer. Farmer. The dealer is a customer. The distributor is a customer. You have internal customers. You have external customers. You know, your own company department, other than department staff are your customers. Your managing director is your customer. Your managing, your, your seed company owner is a customer. Your vice chancellor is a customer. Your KVK in charge is your customer. Your president HOD is your customer. And your farmers are your customers. These are all your customers. And whenever you are dealing with the situation, please see through their eyes. See through their eyes. Put yourself in the shoes of your customer. Please keep yourself in the shoes of your customer. See from his angle. See from his angle the whole situation and build long-lasting relationships with the customers. Build relationships. Build good relationships. Our Shail Saab said, cash and rapport. Rapport. Rapport is very important. You, your rapport is that is something that will that will go very that will help you a lot in this situation, my dear friends. Thank you very much for uh, coming on this webinar, joining on this webinar, and I really appreciate it. You are the true warriors. You are the true warriors. And I want to express my sincere gratitude and thankfulness to Rao Saab and Sharad Saab. And we are not closing now. We will take, you know, we have, we have come here this afternoon. At 4 o'clock we started. We have seen the experts' guidance from our two stalwarts. They have given us the guidance. Then we have seen how the seed is a miracle. Then we appreciated and saluted the farmers, the life nurturers. And we have also understood the seedsmen, the true barriers, the responsible people, the link. The bridge between the seed and the farmer is the seedsman. All the people who are associated in these difficult times. <laughs> if India has to achieve its food production requirement, it is the seedsman. It is the seedsman contribution that is helping them. That's why I want to salute the seedsman. And I want to call the seedsman as a true barriers. As a true barriers, my friends. And we got some positive thoughts. Now let's go into the discussion. Rao Sob is on the screen. I could see now Rao Sob. And um, you can unmute. Whoever wants to ask question, you can unmute yourself. You can come and ask question, or you can type your question in the chat box. And Rao Saab and Sharad Saab will help us and guide us too. Thank you very much once again for all of you for joining on this webinar. Rao Saab, Namaskar, and thank you very much, Sharadji, Namaskar, and Sakwali Bin, my Namaskar and Dhaniwad Bolo Chatahu. Now the session is open for discussion. If somebody yeah, wants to yeah. ask a question, please. Please say your name, unmute yourself, and ask the question, please. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Fantastic.
वेरी नाइस प्रेजेंटेशन थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच दिवाकर सिंह साहब या वी लर्न मेरी तीस विद्यन शॉर्ट स्पैन ऑफ टाइम सर राव साहब नमस्कार प्लीज सर राव साहब बोलिए साहब we learned many things within the one hour so many things you have learned yes sir thank you sir we never seen in our life those things oh my god thank you so much you you made this whole webinar enriched with your sheer presence sir you yes. seeds man to the core to the core there is a seed dna in your dna sir we you, you are a man real seeds man Thank you so much, sir. Rao sir is available now for the questions. So now, if anybody wants to ask questions, please feel free to ask questions. Sharad sir, are you also there? I am there. I am available. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Shafi sir, Mama Shafi, do you want to ask anything? Doctor Shiva. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. नहीं तो आप म्यूट कीजिए रवि माले सर यस सर सर शरद सर ने जो बोला था डिमांड पैटर्न में का कॉटन को और मेज के लिए लिटिल बिट स्कोप है करके और राइस के बारे में पूछना चाहता सर इज देर डिमांड ऑफ राइस इन फ्यूचर हाइब्रिड राइस यस सर यस सर हाइब्रिड राइस स्पेशली हाइब्रिड राइस और रिसर्च हाइब्रिड राइस सर Hybrid rice. Can yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rao sir is also. Rao sir has phenomenal experience on rice as well. Okay, let us first listen to Shyam sir. Then Rao sir can tell us entire rice scenario because he developed Jawhar four, five, six different hybrids. Can we some of the companies use those hybrids? And uh, yes, uh, Shyam sir, you want to respond to Ravi? Yeah, Ravi. Uh, uh, thing is, you asked a very good question. Uh, unlike maize and cotton, which are under pressure. Rice is a staple. It's always in demand. Okay, because maize and cotton have industrial applications. So the, if the industry goes bad, then there will be not much demand for these crops. Like for example, maize goes for poultry and for starch industry. Cotton goes for textile. Textile industry is in in bad shape. Unlike you know, the rice is very much in demand. It's a staple food. it continues to be in in uh, they, there won't be any shrinkage in the area of rice that is what i expect but only the the challenge is supplying hybrid rice f1 rice is seems to be a little difficult this year because of the production issues sir is that clear to you yes yes sir yeah fantastic thank you sir thank you very much even i was also thank you sir hearing other day in a yes, sir sharad sir sorry yeah please <laughs> शरद सर थैंक यू फॉर एक्सलेंट प्रेजेंटेशन मैं आपका बहुत बहुत आभारी हूँ मुझे ये जानना था कि एक अगले खरीफ में खरीफ पैटर्न कैसा रहेगा यानी कौन से क्रॉप बढ़ेंगे एरिया अंडर विच क्रॉप विल बी इंक्रीज एंड विच क्रॉप विल बी डिक्रीज रवि वी कैन नॉट जनरलाइज इट ऑन एट नेशनल लेवल डिफिकल्टी Okay. And uh, But, uh, you can say about Maharashtra cropping patterns if you have any idea about that. Uh, look here, Ravi. Maharashtra cotton is kind of a compulsory crop. The area will will not decrease. Only the maize is the second crop after cotton. That is subject to few variations. Cotton will remain stable. That is my expectation for Maharashtra. In case of corn or maize. Either sugar cane or it is going to be millet or it is going to be some other crop like soya bean etc. That we have to watch out. Sharad sir, your 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 your
वहां कभी कम नहीं होगा इस काइंड ऑफ ए कंपल्सरी क्रॉप दे उतना तो कॉटन लगेगा ही महाराष्ट्र में सर व्हाट अबाउट फील्ड क्रॉप्स लाइक स्वर्गम पल बिलेट एंड अदर मूंग उड़ीद ओके पल्सेस एरिया विल गो अप इन पल्सेस बिकॉज़ दीस आर शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन क्रॉप्स एंड देयर इज अ ह्यूज डिमांड फॉर द पल्सेस एंड थिंग इज फॉर स्वर्गम देयर इज अ बिग यू नो शॉर्टेज इन द सप्लाई देयर इज नॉट इनफ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ हाइब्रिड स्वर्गम अवेलेबल फॉर खरीफ सीजन एंड देयर विल बी शॉर्टेज ऑफ Rabi sorghum also. Anyway, the sorghum area is it's sorghum. But pulses will remain stable. The pulses area under the pulses will go up. It's not depends Thank on you, the pulses again. Thank you. If there are early rains and there is a long spell to dry spell, then then the people would go prefer to go for pulses. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Sir, thank you, Ravi, for asking a very good question. Rao, sir, Rao, hello. Would you like to say something about rice scenario? No, there is there is like uh, maize, cotton, bisavi rice because maize goes to poultry sector, starch sector, some industrial uh, cotton for textile industry, and rice is a staple food which is very much required in India. You know, so in these conditions, um, how do you see the rice demand, supply, production, and all that, Rao, sir? Hello. Yes, please. Go ahead. MS, please go ahead. Ah, sir, 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 question, sir, sir. Ah, Shafi Sir. Ah, sir, 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 शादियां रुक गए हैं यहाँ पे ज्यादा लगते हैं बहुत सारे मंदिर मस्जिद सब बंद हुए फ्लावर का डिमांड ऐसे स्थिति में फ्लावर का डिमांड कम होने से फ्लावर अंडर ट्रेवल सर इवन एक्सपोर्ट कट फ्लावर ऑल्सो बिकॉज टली क्लोज एक्सपोर्ट से बंद हो रहा The status of the rice paddy seeds. Yes, Rasi. Rasa. Yeah, paddy seeds. And the paddy yes, seeds sir. market is uh, more or less stable. The retail market is almost stable, and one can have a business to the same extent. As far hybrid seeds are concerned, it is not moving properly. There is no growth in the hybrid paddy seeds market. This is the today's status. Okay, as far thank you. Concerned, it is also almost stable this year. Cotton markets. Of course, it is almost depending upon the global markets. How the USA is performing, Brazil is performing. Based on that, the market prices of the produce is decided. Accordingly, the seed markets will go. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. शिवा प्रसाद जी जी शिवा प्रसाद जी जी बोलिए आप आने वाले दिनों में और कोई ट्रेनिंग का आपका प्लान है क्योंकि हमें बहुत अच्छा लगा आप सुन को, आपको सुन के तो आने वाले दिनों में कुछ प्लानिंग है और इस तरह से जी जी करते रहेंगे थैंक यू वेरी मच ज्वाइनिंग and i want to express my sincere gratitude and thankfulness to our honorable vice chancellor s rao saab for gracious presence hi gante rao saab uh, webinar pe hum kitna margadarshan diye the rao saab pranam thank you very much for your guidance for your participation sir i also want to put this on record thank you for gratitude Karan Sir is a giver. He wants to help. 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 He wants to help
इनपुट सर सीट्स मन शरद साहब थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक्स अ लॉट शरद साहब आल्सो सजेस्टेड दैट ही वुड शेयर हिज अ पीपीटी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पीडीएफ वी विल बी शेयरिंग दैट विद यू एंड आल्सो वी विल एंटर प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल बी अपलोडिंग इट ऑन YouTube एंड वी विल शेयर इट विद यू एंड ऑलवेज गो एंड टेक अ लुक एंड आल्सो यू कैन शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड प्लीज Every participant who has made it today, thank you very much. You are all awesome. You are amazing. You are true warriors. Take good care of yourself. Take good care of your health and your families. And pray to God for everything. Your safety and security and and success. Thank you very much. Namaskar, everybody. Thank you. Can we close the meeting, sir? Sir, Professor, sir, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pranam. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ji. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you, Rajeshika. Thank you, Pramod Kumar Ji. Thank you, Shafi Sir. Thank you, Shishi Sir. Thank you, Shivani Ji. Thank you, Sudhir. Sudhir. Thank you, Lekha Ram Ji. Kanha Ram Ji. इंद्रकंठी नरसिमुल डॉक्टर किराज जी डॉक्टर राकेश कुमार डॉक्टर चंद्र चंदन कुमार जी धर्मेंद्र सिंह अक्षय तोमरे एंड वी हैड मेनी मोर पार्टिसिपेंट जस्ट लाइक थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर प्रेजेंस सर टेक गुड केयर ऑफ योर सर रिमेंबर यू आर ऑसम नमस्कार बाय बाय साहब सर जल्दी अपनी मीटिंग दोबारा अरेंज करें सर श्योर सर श्योर थैंक यू टेक टेक केयर साहब ठीक है नमस्कार बाय